and welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, if you haven't subscribed and I know you haven't because I don't have any subscribers at all <laughs> and that's not very nice um, if uh, if you'd be so kind to to hit the subscribe button oh, I don't know the speech I'm supposed to say here because I'm so new at this but hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up to say yeah 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 you agree um, and if you must leave a comment, try to be nice. Although sometimes when I leave comments, I'm just like very, very frank and very honest about what I think about everything. But in any event, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to talk about, um, the lawsuit between Meghan Markle and her sister, her half-sister, or maybe her father's daughter, because I'm not sure that Megan and Samantha are sisters, you know, nothing beyond a DNA link anyway. They, this is not what a sister is. And I think that what I said in my, in the blog that is attached to this YouTube channel is, is true. You know, being a sister to me is so much more than biology. So you can be biologically linked to someone. It doesn't really make them a sister. And being a sister is more than just saying the word sister. You know, it's an action word. It's kind of like love. You know, you don't love me just because you say I love you. You love me by your actions. You know, you, you love me by what you say to me, what you don't say, what you do and what you don't do. Right. So I don't think Samantha and um, and Meghan Markle are sisters. But in any event, the world considers them to be half-sisters because they share a common father. And apparently Samantha Markle has brought a lawsuit in, I believe, Florida against her half-sister, the Duchess of Sussex, Megan. And basically the lawsuit apparently is about defamation, I think is what the... Uh, the, the main thrust of this suit is that Samantha claims that Megan has defamed her in a book and in a book that was written by someone else and also in the, the interview that Megan did with um, Oprah Winfrey. And so for me, based on all of the things I've heard uh, about this suit it sounds to me like a very frivolous lawsuit and that means on by law I mean frivolous lawsuits should be dismissed immediately you know I'm really confused as to how these judges arrived at the decision to allow this case to continue to the point that now they are talking about potentially deposing other witnesses like Oprah Winfrey and the author of the book Finding Freedom, Omid Scobie, and even Prince Harry and, and Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland. And to me, it's, it's like an incredible spectacle that's being created that doesn't have to be this way. And it's really confusing as to why the judges in Florida have allowed this case to go this far and why they have allowed this woman to to go this far and whether if she loses this lawsuit as i believe she should based on the the elements of defamation which i feel just clearly have not been met in from the from the starting block they have not been met in this case um she amended her complaint at one point to talk about the fact that she called megan in Canada. I mean, these are allegations. I, I, this is what I read. I don't know. I haven't read the complaint, but it is alleged that she said that she called her half sister in Canada and Megan hung up on her. And this is a case about defamation. I mean, this has nothing to do with defamation. I'm not a legal expert on this. I've never tried a defamation case, but this just sounds completely crazy. So I, um, I don't see how she can win. And so if she doesn't win the lawsuit, I wonder whether the courts will order her to pay attorney's fees and costs for, for the people involved in this lawsuit. So yeah, I, I don't see it. I mean, I think if there's a legitimate cause of action, if, if Megan has harmed her, 
then Megan is ob obligated to to um, to compensate her. But based on everything she said and my own observations and the press and and what I've read and heard and in, no, I I don't see how a defamation case can be made out here, and I can't understand how the courts.